Hi everybody, my name is Arno, Senior Technical Artist. And I'm Julian, 3D Technical Artist. In this video series, we'll present to you the easiest way to develop an interactive HMI with the Qt tools. Today, the goal of this video is to present to you the full environment of Qt to build an HMI. Of course, uh, we will Julian and me present to you, uh, propose to you different other videos to focus on the different part of our solution. And here, I just want to give you an eye view of the different solution for, uh, to build HMI for different use cases based on the evolution and the history of our company. Let's start uh, at the beginning in 1995. Uh, this time, a uh, company was named uh, Trolltech and uh, launched uh, the first Qt release. So this part of the first solution uh, is based on our framework, which includes some design widgets. On our ID Qt Creator, we allow for the developer to work on the Qt Designer and create some HMI. So this solution is uh, very useful for the desktop application. On this environment, it's a very flexible tools, uh, which allow a large, large choice of capabilities to build a desktop HMI. Then uh, new devices will appear, new way uh, to, to communicate and uh, to use devices. So with the touch screen, uh, embedded devices, and for this uh, new devices, we created a new solution. New workflow with different tools based on a new code, the QML code. It's a declarative language uh, created by uh, the Qt company. Uh, the goal, of course, of uh, this workflow is uh, to accelerate the development of the application, especially for uh, touch screen and embedded uh, devices. Again, let's for and me to uh, have a special session on this part of the solution. But globally, what's the goal? First of all, we propose for the designer to create a very nice HMI on the dedicated software, like Figma, Sketch, XD, and Photoshop. So for these four tools, we develop a plugin named Bridge, the Qt Bridge. The goal here is to export a file, and this file uh, will be imported directly on Design Studio. So on Design Studio, what will happen just by pressing plus button to recreate all the, the design from Figma and others, and then create the logic. Uh, we talk about uh, button states, uh, animation, transition between screen. By uh, using this tool, the designer will um, generate some QML code directly and, uh, of course, accelerate the process because uh, all the front-end part will be handled by the designer and just have after to share the UI.QML file uh, to the developer uh, to manage only the backend. This solution uh, guarantees, first of all, a very high quality uh, of design because it's especially graphical asset from Figma and the other tools not have to recreate it uh, for the developer. And it's a flexible solution because you have many ways to, to use it. You can uh, work only with our bridge uh, to develop your solution and your creator base directly on our assets uh, from uh, the designer tools. You can directly build your uh, design HMI on Design Studio just by drag and dropping uh, our component QML and uh, work with the base of the designer tools, text, of course, rectangle, cycle, and so on. We develop other kind of solution like uh, Figma quick control components. We allow you to uh, customize your different button and uh, checkbox and different controls, which will allow you to create your own libraries, customize it, and recreate your own environment directly on Design Studio. So continue to watch our videos and uh, to develop your knowledge about our solution. And uh, we will be happy, of course, to uh, answer to your questions. Do not hesitate. We wish you a happy learning experience and we will provide you with different links in the video description.